Y'all get ready. Yes, you get ready. This news in the streets. Join us and tune in for the tea. Breaking news with integrity. So sell your friends and your family. It's the lovely T T V show. Bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the lovely T T V show. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe. Happy Sunday, everyone. So I want to talk about this controversial situation that is going viral once again on Twitter. So what's going on is that if you guys do not know a Delaware County councilman, his name is Ryan Webb, and he is causing a lot of controversy on social media. Now, what happened is that basically he took to Facebook in the middle of April and he basically announced he now identifies as a transgender woman of color lesbian. And so a lot of people are saying that this is disingenuous and this is offensive mockery of marginalized groups and they're really upset about it. So let's go ahead and find out exactly what is going on. So on that Facebook post, he wrote this. He says, it is with great relief and I announce to everyone that I identify as a woman, not just any woman, but a woman of color as well. I guess this would make me a gay slash lesbian as well since I'm attracted to women. He also said that his new identity would bring diversity to the county council, which currently lacks representation from women of color or the LGBTQ plus community. Now, with Webb's announcement, he has definitely received immediate backlash with many people calling him pathetic, embarrassing, and people are saying that he's making a mockery of transgender and non-binary LGBT people, and he's also making a mockery of black women. I don't know how we got drug into this, because uh, last time I checked, he claimed to be an Indian woman, and they don't seem to be saying anything. I digress. So now we fast forward to the council meeting where eight individuals, mainly students from the Boris Laboratory School, have called for his resignation during a public council meeting where one of the attendees named Chelsea McDonald said, with this fictitious claim that he claims as a woman of color, he has made a mockery of his constituents as well as his elected position in council. So I'm going to go ahead and play you guys a news clip and what happened at the council meeting. Y'all go ahead and check this out. A councilman is coming out as a transgender, as transgender and a woman of color. Delaware County Councilman Ryan Webb announced that he now identifies as an Indian American woman. Since that announcement, announcement, he's received some support, but a lot of backlash, many calling him childish, despicable, even calling for things like execution. In a statement Webb gave to IT Mate, he says, quote, it is unfortunate that I cannot simply be given the same space and respect to explore my identity that so many of those targeting me demand for themselves. It's possible I may change my mind down the road. The process of identity exploration is complex and oftentimes at the end of our personal journey, we end right back where we started. Webb goes on to tell IT Mate, this is just his true authentic self. A white man is identifying as a lesbian woman of color, and people are upset about it. Councilperson Ryan Webb announced publicly on social media that he now, now identifies as a lesbian woman of color. If he were serious, I'd sing his praises. But instead, I know better. In none of my jobs in the last 21 years, and that is many, many jobs, would I have been permitted to mock and disrespect my customers. And if that were true, we would all be proud of you, and no one would be denying your right to do such things and to identify by your heritage, but your open mockery of these communities is insane. In order to demand for the resignation of Ryan Webb, the posts Mr. Webb made on April 12th were offensive on many, on many levels. After hearing these complaints, Ryan Webb responded. I'm being dead serious. You don't get to question me. You do not get to require proof from me. You were part of the movement to help establish these rules and set the bar. Touche, Councilman. Touche. All right, so you guys just saw that clip. So this entire situation to me is very interesting. And like I said, it's causing a lot of debate on social media. Now, what I find very interesting about this is that, you know, 
people are so quick to demonize him and be upset with him. But when women were also saying the same thing about Dylan Mulvaney, women were called transphobic and were called haters and, you know, everything but a child of God. Now, what I find very interesting is that to me, this councilman is no different than Dylan Mulvaney. They're both clowns. They're both looking for attention. Yet Dylan is praised and rewarded with all types of deals from Nike that should have been given to a biological woman. Um, so to me, I feel like the chickens are coming home to roost. You guys don't get to pick and choose who's serious, okay? Because per social media, y'all tell us that people like Dylan and Jeffrey, they feel like girls and they can do this whole 365 days of girlhood and we just have to accept it. They have went out their way to make a mockery of womanhood and it's supposed to be okay. And anybody who does not co-sign this or who's not comfortable with this is automatically coined a phobic, which I've been coined, which people know I'm not. I'm a seeker of truth and I'm not going to play into people's delusions. So I'm going to go ahead and play you guys some clips from Dylan, um, you know, just living in his womanhood, quote unquote. And tell me, what is the difference between the mockery of what he's doing and what this councilman is doing? They're both disrespecting what it is to be a woman. And I don't agree with either one of it. But if we're going to give Dylan a pass, then you guys have no right to try and call for this man's job. Y'all go ahead and check this out. They don't like me. I'm 32 of being a girl, and I figured it's about time that I tell you my toxic girl trait. Here we go. First up, we have amusement park restrooms, or really any restroom often frequented by children. This is a common place where uh, some conservative women often judge me. And we all just normalize women having bulges sometimes. And you might see a bulge or two. Day 37 of being a girl, it's Easter, and Jesus is not the only thing that has risen this morning. And I seriously, it looks like I'm a Barbie doll down there. And I went, oh, I forgot that my crotch doesn't look like other women's crotches sometimes because mine doesn't look like a little Barbie pocket. Woohoo! Come with me. I don't even know if I remember how to do this. Um, hey. Girlhood has had its ups and its downs, and here's what I've learned so far. Six. Women are awesome, but can also be cruel. I'm doing my best, and boys, they kinda drool. My hormones are wild, and my boobs kinda sore. It's only day 200, we have so much more to experience together. I don't feel so alone, no more shame, and carefree. Woohoo! In a bubble of love, and in a moment it just shattered. Girlhood becomes yes. stronger when there's more of us behind behind it only certain people are allowed in but who's allowing that's the real question people are allowed in but who's allowing that's the real question all right, so you guys just saw those clips. Now, what I find very interesting about that conversation that Dylan and Jeffrey were having is that Jeffrey said that only certain people are allowed in. And who is dictating that? Who is allowing certain people to be in these categories? So it shows you that a lot of this stuff is very, very strategic. And that in one breath, society will support Jeffrey and Dylan, but then in the same breath, they want proof for somebody else. I thought that part of their conversation was very interesting. That didn't go over my head. So in conclusion, I will say this. In my personal opinion, I feel like these are the chickens coming home to roost in the words of Malcolm X. Okay, soon race and age will also be a choice. And we're living in a world now where anything goes. We've had the Rachel Dolezal's. And, you know, unfortunately, when she came out as transracial, People weren't trying to buy it, but soon people will buy it and people will be OK with it. Um, you also have people who feel like, hey, I don't look 60. I don't feel 60. So I'm going to identify as a 30 year old because those were the best times in my life. And soon people will be able to identify as whatever age they want. And before you guys say that I'm reaching and my arms might be tired. 
Four years ago, a Dutch man who was 69 years old has started a legal fight, which is still going through the courts, to identify as 20 years younger because he does not feel like he's 69. He feels a lot younger. He says he looks younger, and he wants to legally change his birth date from March 11th, 1949 to March 11th, 1969. He says, when I am 69, I am limited, but if I am 49, I can buy a new house, drive a different car I can take up more work when I'm on tinder and I say I'm 69 I don't get an answer when I'm 49 with the face I have I will be in a luxurious position so there is a movement for this for people to identify younger and the you know at least with him he wants to identify as a 49 year old I guess sir you also have people out here who try to identify as children there was a man I remember I did a story on him a few years ago where he identified as a six-year-old and he had adoptive parents. To me, it just looked like some type of weird sexual fetish, but whatever, honey. Um, even when we look at somebody like Dylan Mulvaney, he's not pretending to be a woman. This isn't, you know, 365 days of being a grown adult woman. This is 365 days of girlhood, meaning someone who is still a child, someone who is pre-pubescent. Okay, so again, it's a slippery slope. Dakota doesn't want to say hi. Anyways, I just wanted you to see I made a tutu with my sewing machine and it's it's for pretending to be a little fairy, a little ballerina fairy. So I love having this and I have my Tinkerbell shirt from Kathy. Miss Kathy gave me this sweatshirt. And I have my sis, so that I'm not scared. So, thank you for coming and visiting. I hope you have fun, and thank you for being my friend. Bye-bye. If you can say that somebody can feel like another gender, then you cannot then tell somebody that you can't feel like another age, especially if you don't look the age that you were born. I, I just, I don't know. I just think we live in a very, very... Um, I think we're just living in very strange times, but I find it very interesting that it seems like if you play the gender role, more people are willing to accept that. But I think what's causing more of the controversy is him trying to be a person of color. Because again, if we allow him to be a woman of color, then what's to stop black people from identifying as white? See, people aren't ready for that conversation. This is why they never want to speak on people who feel like, well, hey, I was raised in the suburbs. I went to school and I was only one of three black people. I more identify with white people. I talk more white. I hang with white people. I listen to, you know, whatever, white music. I eat bland chicken. I don't know. I'm just being funny. But we have black people who do act more, quote, unquote, white. And they identify more with white culture. Just like you have some white people. We see them on TikTok all the time. They lived in the hood. They grew up around black folks. They have a black scent. They have mixed kids. They identify and see themselves more as black, right? So, again, it's very funny that the gender thing, we can change driver's licenses for that. But the second you add race to it, now, you know, hold on there. Y'all are moving too fast with this because this tells you the big picture. They'll allow you to identify as anything you want under the sun. But when it comes to race, that's when they put the brakes on. Harrison looks from the outside to be your average teenager. He goes to school, plays video games, even listens to music in his room. But there's one difference. I'm a 35-year-old white man. Harrison, born Antoine Smalls, has transracial identity, identifying as Harrison Booth, a 35-year-old white man from Colorado. And when did you know that you were a 35-year-old white man? Well, I've always felt different. Uh, I go to the store, the movies, and just be thinking to myself, like, why am I not getting the respect I deserve? Mm -hmm. And then it just hit me. I'm white. In 35. I just miss Colorado sometimes, you know. Here I pretend the buildings are the old San Juan mountain range, but, you know, the job's just here. And where do you work? I'm a systems engineer for Coca-Cola. Oh, okay. That boy don't work. He go to school and that's it. Mm -hmm. One day he said, call me Harrison. I said, who's that? He said me. Do you believe that he is a white man? I mean, he isn't. Mm. I'd love to wake up one day and say, hey, everybody, I'm Rihanna. But I ain't. 
It's been pretty hard. My family just doesn't get it. You know, I try to get them to go out with me, go on walks, go to the farmer's market, chat with people, but yeah. So why don't you think that they get it? I don't think they get it because they don't realize that race is just a made up thing. Mm -hmm. They grew up having labels and me, I'm, I'm just not like that. Harrison has been planning a full racial transition with the Dr. Samuel Vergara, who guarantees Harrison can visually transition through an experimental procedure that will allow Harrison to not only be a white man, but whatever race he chooses. The procedure's absolutely 100% possible. He's gonna look weird though. They work too hard to create this system based on race and privilege, and they're not going to allow anybody, especially if you're dark skinned, full black with 4C hair and look phenotypically black, they're not going to allow you to identify as, as Brad or Karen. That's where the ball ends. They're not going to have a lot of black folks trying to hop on the white privilege train. So I just always find it funny how as soon as race is brought up, now everybody's upset. But I bet you if he didn't say anything about wanting to be a woman of color and he just kept it to just the gender theme, they wouldn't even be calm for his resignation. But I leave the question up to you guys. Let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. Let me know your thoughts on this entire crazy story concerning Ryan Webb and all the controversy concerning his new identity. How do y'all feel about this? Do you feel like he's, you know, making a mockery of the situation? How do you guys feel about Dylan Mulvaney and what he does? You know, is there blatant hypocrisy that it's okay for Dylan, but not okay for Ryan? And then do you agree that, you know, it's fun how they're cool with people changing genders but when it comes to race that's where the buck stops so i look forward to reading y'all's comments i will talk to y'all later enjoy the rest of your day don't forget to like and share the video and make sure you still subscribe to the channel all right deuces if you want the latest news in the streets join us sentiment for the tea breaking news with integrity so sell your friends and your family it's the lovely tv show bringing you good tea and good vibes it's the lovely tv show be sure to share like and subscribe